The wind force resistance structure, codenamed Strongbox, has gone through an arduous 12 year process before finally becoming the product we now call Revolution Living. Receiving a patent in April 2010, the invention went through extensive FEMA calculations for both main wind force resistance system and components and cladding before being scrutinized by our own calculations. We wanted a home that would withstand the highest wind event, the EF5 tornado with its 235 mile per hour winds. Although the calculations for wind satisfied the strength that we put into our design, we wanted to test the revolution living components and connectors to validate the mathematical model, which then validates the patent. Testing for the best method to establish an accurate assessment, we ascertained that a blower test was not accurate. The 220 mile per hour force of the blower diffused itself upon collision with the surface. A cable test, on the other hand, utilized a direct force and was therefore more reliable. To accomplish this, we would calculate the force of the 235 mile per hour wind load onto a single rib truss. If this survived, the entire system was safe. Using the formula F equals 0.00276 V squared, we calculated the force on the wall as 141 pounds per square foot. Each rib truss has to collect that load individually. That individual rectangle of wall that each rib truss must address is known as a tributary area. Converting all of that and force per square foot netted us a single massive force of 5,850 pounds. This force would be attached to a single rib truss. We needed to alter the configuration of the Verendale truss and rib truss so that an accurate test could be possible. To achieve this, we rotated the entire assembly and attached a cable to the most vulnerable part of the rib truss. After constructing the two main elements of the Revolution Living Design, the modified Verendale truss and our own rib truss, we connected them using calculated steel angle connectors. Today's test would also test the strength of these connectors to support the same 5,850 pounds. All of these components are the same as the ones being used in the Revolution Living Home. Constructing the test assembly, we needed to brace the freestanding components so that they would not buckle under the severe force. But it was critical that we did not yeah, brace it in the direction of the wind force. We only wanted to compensate for the absence of the other elements that are present in the final product. As a result, some bracing had to be removed. The final bracing looked like a pile of matchsticks around the test assembly, but it was meticulously arranged to do the job. One of the key elements of the test were the weights which would hold the entire assembly down after the force was transferred to a single corner of the rib truss via a cable. Since the calculated force was a massive 5,850 pounds, a counterweight of four 3,000 pound concrete weights placed on the lower truss, totaling 12,000 pounds, was placed on top of the Verendale truss. <laughs> yes. Here comes the massive fire engine red wrecker, a real beauty, capable of pulling 100,000 pounds. safety dynamometer was also installed in the event that the assembly was destroyed prior to the 12,000 pound load being applied. A reading would let us know at what point the structure failed.
we could hear a lot of popping and cracking sounds as the lighter duty braces started to come apart as a result of the gigantic pulling force. Soon, the entire assembly lifted off of the ground. Calculating the force of the 12,000 pounds against the wind load netted us a force per square foot of 213 pounds or an equivalent wind speed of 289 miles per hour. This proved once and for all that the one element alone in the Revolution Living House could withstand a force of an EF-5 tornado or 235 miles per hour. The braces were all over the place, but at the end of all this, the rib truss, connectors, and Verandale truss did not deform even a millimeter. The test was an unequivocal success.